2824 Jean Avenue. So. Youngstown. They need Section 8 rentals. This is a house that needs a moderate renovation, and it would be perfect for a Section 8 rentals. My head. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Youngstown has a Section 8 shortage, y'all. That means, what does that mean, James? It means there are more people with Section 8 vouchers than there are Section 8 properties. Smash cut what that means for you, what that means for me, people like us, investors. That means money, baby, cold, hard cash. We need to take properties, get them renovated, put them on the market, and collect mucho dinero from the Section 8 program. Check this out. 2824 Gene Street. Coming to you. 59.9. You know what Section 8 to pay for this bad boy? Probably like 11.50. Okay. 11.50 for a $59,000 house, y'all. And it's in pretty good shape. It's not turnkey. It's not moving ready. That's for damn sure. Uh, but you don't need to do too, too, too much here, right? Just like kind of like a normal, you know, normal unit turn like you know a little smelly a little stinky but hey man sometimes you get stinky houses right but you know fresh coat of paint cleaning it up blah blah, blah. it's not like it's a freaking gut job here or anything now as far as the big ticket stuff you do need to uh to get a new hot water tank in there we were not uh, seeing any hot water tanks in there, uh, but you got the boiler. It's older. It's like 20 plus years old, but I think that's still working. Uh, the roof, definitely over 10. Uh, if you buy this or if you're going out to tour this, you might want to get like a super close up inspection of that roof, right? You might want to hop on up there. Uh, if you fall off the roof and like break your arm, that's unfortunate, but like don't think you can come to me for some money because I don't give a fuck if you break your arm falling off that roof, motherfuckers. Buyer beware. So don't hop on that roof unless you think your uh, dumbass ain't going to fall off of it, because I don't want anybody like, James Wise told me to jump on his roof, and now I broke my ankle. Fuck you! Anyway, uh, you guys remember when that chick sued McDonald's because she spilled the coffee on her van? <laughs> That's wild, man. It's wild. It's 2024, though, now, so it's pretty crazy because now we're going to have dudes who are going to sue McDonald's when they spill the coffee on their vag. Get it? That was a joke. Anyway, uh, moral of the story, though, is if you do hop on the roof, I didn't tell you to, so don't fucking hurt yourselves, or do you hurt yourselves, but fuck off if you think you're suing me, right? Because, uh, you know... You know, we're not McDonald's. We don't really care about that bad PR. You could be like, I got hurt because of holding wise. And we'll be like, yo, fuck you. You're stupid, right? I'll play this video for everybody who thinks it was our fault. But anyway, we're getting off track. The moral of the story, though, is guys, Youngstown, they need Section 8 rentals. This is a house that needs a moderate renovation, and it would be perfect for a Section 8 rentals. And you... You came here, obviously, because you need properties to buy so you can get super rich, and then you can make videos telling people if you talk smack about my company, you could go ahead and fuck yourself because we made fuck you money through investing in real estate, and we don't give a fuck what you say. See how great that is, y'all? That is like the circle of life. Now, before you make your offer, I would assume you would like to tour the inside in, in, in very uh, detail, right? You want to make sure you can put together a very accurate scope of work so you know exactly how much money you need to spend from today to the point of getting it Section 8 ready so you can start making that cheddar, right? So if that is the case, just send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you into the property the same day you reach out to us, so long as you reach out to us before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If it's after that or if it's on like a Saturday and I'm drinking tequila, it's probably going to be Monday, right? So don't be trying to blow us up at like, you know, 7 o'clock on Saturday night. Like, why aren't you guys getting back to me? Because I'm drinking at my pool bar, bro. Wait till Monday. The house will still be there for you on Monday or maybe it won't. If it won't, that means I sold it to somebody else. So I guess I really don't give a fuck that you're upset. Now am I? But... 
if it is normal business hours and it's before five, we'll get you in there same day. If not, we'll get you in there next appropriate business day. We want you to do all the due diligence possible, including taking a look at the roof. Hey, man, maybe you'd be safe and just fly a drone up there instead of crawling up there at the ladder. That's a good idea. That'll keep everybody from getting sued. Uh, and then at that point, you can submit your offer to us, cash offers, okay, with proof of funds or financed offers, like hard money, private money, stuff like that, that's cool. If you need the money, we got the money for you, right? We have a whole Rolodex of investor lenders who want to work with people like you who want to capitalize on the fact that there's a Section 8 shortage in Youngstown. So if you need those lenders, let me know. And then at that point, let's get some as-is offers since you should have already done all that due diligence and I hooked you up with the money. As-is offers, right? Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Two eight two four Jean Avenue. It's all, all boarded up. are starting to take over there. I wonder if that fire truck was doing it. I bet it was. Board it up. And then, over here's a little shed, but I don't think this is part of the property, maybe. It's all fucking beat up. video they talk to the owner and kind of go from there but we haven't heard much so I think we're just going to do the outside upload it give it to our boss and they've been dealing oh. with the owner we don't deal with them at all unfortunately so I'm not really sure what the plan is but can't imagine much with the condition Do you know that uh, owner's number? I don't my boss deals with them I think they email them but you could if you go on the the county auditor site you should be able to find it at least his info. Okay. So I would look there first. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Here. 
Yeah, I was like, because I was behind the car. I was like, who the fuck is he talking to? <laughs> so. I just messaged Steve and said there's no lockbox and supported it. So. See what he says. He's probably just gonna say, get what you can. Yeah, there's only a side door and a front door and they're both boarded shut and they're nailed shut, comma, not screwed. This locksmith went a little bit above and a little bit beyond. I mean, yeah, bro, once you fucking change the locks, you're done. Usually. Nice. So I'm not gonna fucking board it back up. I would just put the board back on and put one, like maybe one screw in it on the top. Well, if this is if this locks, they're not they're not gonna unboard yeah. it to get in. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Cool. It's dark as fuck. Lock, yeah, bro, the fucking lights are, or the... Yeah, I'm not boarding it back up. Fuck that. Lights are off. There's, oh, there's no electricity. It's a new no. Machine. Yep. You want me to come here with you? Oh, my God. How long has it been empty? Yeah, Cobweb City? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking hit it right with my face. Man. Fuck. God. I know. Fuck, dude, dude the whole... Walk through clear? Whole goddamn kitchen. Oh, that's just a closet. Well, let me get this lock off. Oh, hey, look at these stairs, bro. The spiders have taken this place back over, dude. Yeah, the stairs are fucked. Sorry, the light's gonna be a little weird, but walk through this place at your own risk. Every step I take is more cobwebs. <sighs> Every step you take. Cobwebs, tub, toilet, bedroom, a little bit of ceiling leakage there. Same thing in this bedroom. Corner. Where is 
We don't want to do the basement. Are you locking me in? Yeah, dude. Oh. See you back in Cleveland. Alright. Your lunch is all me. I was gonna say, dude, I can get out of here. <laughs> I don't care how many boards are on these doors. He's taking his lock box. Motherfucker. Uh, you know what? You might want to uh, put the board back. Why? There's no latch for the handle and the. The deadbolt is in there by a thread. Okay. Oh, bro! Is it fucked? God! So many spider webs, bro! <laughs> Please don't let there be anything down here, like actual mechanicals. Oh, this reeks! There's a boiler. And electrical panels. I don't know if you can see through the spider webs. And here's the hot water tank would go. Alright. Ow. Fucking spider bit me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.